What's happening everybody? Suburban Hiker kicking rocks on day 51 of my 500 mile walk and this is mile number 282. It's been several weeks, two months since my last video, sometime in September, hiking the sand dunes at Warren Dunes State Park in Michigan. A lot has been going on since that last video. Done a lot of hiking, a lot of walking. Didn't make videos of that. I'll explain it, but first, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, like the video, share the video, leave some comments down below, and ring the bell to get notifications. A quick look at the map of St. Patrick's County Park. We are parked here. We're gonna take this service road. We're gonna walk the perimeter trail of the park and that's approximately three miles just over we'll do the math later and figure it out a lot of pine cones on the ground I am back at St. Patrick's County Park in South Bend, Indiana. Gonna try and get a quick three mile hike in on a Sunday afternoon. It's just after four o'clock. Approximately 52 degrees. This is insanity. The weather in Northern Indiana this year has just been crazy. On Halloween, it was 26 degrees snowy windy i think the wind chill was uh 16 degrees there was uh rain oh, it, was, it was a tremendously horrible evening to be out walking around however some of the kids were still out my granddaughter was one of them i can talk about that here in just a second fill you in on that that's a fun little story i'm not even sure where to start with, with my conversation today. I suppose we can start with Notre Dame, the college, the football team, and uh, robotics, the granddaughter and her robotics class. We can start there. My last hike, school was just beginning for the granddaughter. And of course now, it is in full swing. What I ended up doing, she's in robotics at her school, and they uh, actually have a fantastic robotics team. They are kicking butt statewide. Absolutely phenomenal. But part of their class, they volunteer services at uh, Notre Dame and in exchange for financial aid for their robotics team from Notre Dame, they uh, participate in uh, seat rentals, cushion rentals for the games. So we had to take her to Notre Dame. I think it was on Thursday evenings for home games. And uh, they would, start setting up for the game on Saturday instead of just dropping her off my girlfriend and I would stay at Notre Dame and we'd walk around the campus it's a fantastic campus absolutely amazing campus it's a fantastic school even uh, even if you're not interested in the sports programs which I am not I'm not a football guy but Notre Dame has a fantastic history and my plan <laughs> I wanted to make a, an amazing video of walking around on campus I thought man that could be a great video I, we were walking five to seven miles while we were there it's a huge campus tremendous amount of trees it's just it's a, it's a fantastic environment I was gonna make an amazing video or two, break it up into a series of videos. And I was gonna get the fall foliage, all the color. And uh, 
Well, as, as the weather in Indiana does, as soon as the uh, foliage started to change color, there was major wind storms and uh, rain. In a matter of a day or two, it was all gone and all down <laughs> and a wet mess. Like I said, there was snow on Halloween. There was rain. It's crazy. Now here we are, three days before Christmas, and it's 52 degrees. Four o'clock in the afternoon. Sun's setting already. I got about an hour, hour and 20 minutes before it'll probably be too dark to uh, continue making video. You know, in a video earlier this year, this bridge was totally underwater. You can see where the water level is now. That's, let me back up and get a better look, maybe. So this river was actually up in about a foot over the height of this bridge. So that, that water level was up at least four feet. Uh, this, this path was not passable, or at least not easily. You probably could have. And the, uh, the river was actually feeding into this stream instead of the stream feeding into the river i think the title of that video was water water everywhere maybe i'll try to remember to uh link that down below i always forget that stuff I always forget to link it i always have big ideas of all the things i'm gonna do and then when i get to doing stuff i forget it anyways <laughs> just wanted to Show you that bridge well, this is something interesting i'm gonna sidetrack this is their uh, sl their sledding hill actually it's a tubing hill they even have snow makers but uh well again it's 52 degrees and there are no tubes going down this hill anytime in the near future actually it's supposed to be in the 50s for the next week which is crazy anyways these grooves that are in the hill I have never seen that and I'm wondering if they do that every year or if this is something new they are doing I've never been here uh, in the winter months uh, I've not come tubing here and I've never seen that those grooves do not exist in the uh, summer so I wonder if that's something they just do occasionally or if they do that every year huh they're about a foot and a half deep let's uh walk up and to it <clears throat> take a look and then I'll get back to talking about uh the robotics program <clears throat> the last couple months yeah this uh this groove is pretty deep How interesting so anyhow Caden's robotics class at school and team again are kicking butt and they were involved with sea rental there at Notre Dame to help finance and so that cut into the amount of time I had to dedicate to hiking and such. Now, it's not even robotics season yet. <laughs> robotics season starts in a week or two after she goes back to school. And uh, <clears throat> I think during robotics season, which runs from here to the end of the school year, she will miss out on three weeks worth of schooling uh, doing robotics events and such. So she'll have to stay on top of her school stuff as well as doing the robotics. Uh, but the robotics stuff's really cool. They're, they do the building, the programming. <clears throat> it's a really neat uh, program. And I'm really glad she's involved with it. She has a lot of fun doing it. Uh, so that's kind of 
part of what I've been doing for the last couple months and why I haven't been out hiking as much. Uh, another part, a big and even bigger part, uh, my hours at work have increased, I suppose one could say exponentially. Uh, I have been working 10, 11, 12 hour days for the last six weeks or so. Uh, I don't mind it as long as I'm busy. To, 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 to be honest, I would rather work really quickly uh, for 12 hours straight than to stand around with very little to do for even just four hours. Uh, the more I can work, the more my mind is occupied and the less time I have to concern myself with how much I don't like working. Here's the teepee again. You've seen it every time I come here. <clears throat> again, it's uh, been here since I've been coming to this park for 20 years. And uh, kids build on it and work on it. The granddaughters added some sticks to this over the years. I've not been inside of it with you guys. We'll go ahead and crawl in here and have a look around. This is a uh, it's a pretty good size, really. It's at least, this, this base is at least eight foot across from side to side. There are two trees in here. Here's one of them. Uh, I can stand up straight and even touching. So it's pretty tall in the center here. Here's the other tree that forms part of the base of the perimeter of it. It's just a really cool, I like seeing it. Here's the entrance. It's really cool that that's there. And I like that uh, the park hasn't taken it down for any reason. Anyhow, I don't know where, I, oh yeah, back to working. Yeah, back to work. Another bridge and stream that has made appearances in other videos. Maybe next spring, next year, we'll go on a hike and I'll actually hike up the streams. At least a little ways. We'll get some different footage. Here you can see they've painted the roots. And uh, looks like they marked the trail for snow and winter. I've not been out here in the winter before. But I want to. I guess today would count as you know being out it is december 22nd just happens to be 52 degrees and uh sunny anyhow about back to work this trail is really mucky and muddy i uh trying to avoid it Let's see what we have it's just really slippery gunk so i'm trying to walk in the sides here a little less muck a little less slipping it wasn't this way up until this point but we are <clears throat> closer to water level down here in this section and uh oh, there was snow on the ground not too long ago and i'm sure that's the melt of that has a lot to do with this mucky trail. Anyhow, back to work. Third time's a charm. I'll get back on topic here. So, work is the biggest obstacle I've been facing on making the videos. I, uh, even, even on a 10 hour day, uh, because we're in the winter months, it's getting dark, five o'clock, 520, which happens to be when Caden and Grandma get home uh, on a 10 hour day I would get home at just about 5 o'clock uh, I have about a 30, 30 minute commute to work and back home 
so it's by the time I get home and get stuff situated it's uh it's a little dark to make videos and it's been cold which that's fine I don't I don't mind the cold really and I'm not excited about it but uh, it hasn't killed me yet so I don't worry too much about it but uh, on those 12 hour days at work and well, I'm already getting about 12 miles <laughs> of walking in uh, and I'm pretty beat up by the time I get home there's a lot of ladder work involved it's interesting that I get 12 miles in the course of a day because usually I'm working in a, in a space that is maybe 8 foot wide and 40, 48 foot long <laughs> and I'm running in that space for 12 miles a day and of course it's up and down ladders uh, I build RVs for those of you who don't know what I do for a living so anyhow those long days have really hampered my hiking but there's another component that helps uh, and even though my hiking is hampered I have been exercising with the granddaughter uh, we, we do a daily routine, uh, six days a week, and uh, we miss occasionally, but we don't let that stop us. We are doing weight training every other day, and then uh, we do uh, non-resistant training on the uh, other days. Some of, some of the days are plyometrics, uh, jump training. Uh, some days we're doing yoga, uh, just calisthenics or whatever else. Uh, and that's gone a long ways to help with my conditioning and of course hers. We've uh, both lost some weight from that. My energy levels have skyrocketed because of it and so have hers. Not that she really needs to do that. I have mud all over my feet. But, uh, so I've been doing that to uh, help with the actual, the whole reason I even started this walk to begin with, which was my lower back problems. And I gotta tell you, this wasn't really a part of my planned conversation. But my back problems are, I'm going to say, 99% eliminated uh, from all the walking, the exercise, and of course the working. Uh, in, my, in my line of work, the particular job I do, there's a lot of bending, crawling, standing, stretching, a lot of flexibility required. And that helps me to stay limber. All the walking and all the exercise. And I've been doing a little yoga. Not as much as I would like. But that has all gone such a long way to helping my back feel better. Uh, in the very first episode of this series, I discuss why I started this 500 mile walk. Uh, the one and only goal was because I was having so much back problems uh, at the time and I knew that walking is about the best thing you can do for lower back problems it really strengthens that the core uh, which helps support your lumbar spine so that's been awesome I don't want to get on sidetracked with that but uh, working out with a granddaughter has been absolutely amazing we've been we try to go six days a week uh, 
we've been going at it for about uh, eight weeks, I think now. About the time that I stopped hiking. Once my hours at work increased and I was out of daylight for videos and hiking, uh, we started working out and she's working out with me. It's been pretty awesome. I love that stuff. And we have a little bit of snow and ice on the trail. Nothing crazy, just a little bit. There's a thaw up here. It's supposed to be 52 again tomorrow. So I suspect that it won't last. So far as I can tell, it's supposed to be 50 or near 50 for the next seven days. Green Christmas. And while I'm on the topic of the green Christmas, while I do enjoy the heat and I feel fantastic, the warmer it is, I do like snow. I love the winter months. I like doing stuff in the snow. I like the tranquility that a fresh blanket of snow gives. So I will be missing that. But seeing how it's warm out and sunny, I'm gonna go ahead and hike. I intend to get some hiking in in the snow. We're just gonna have to see how it goes. I'm off work for the next two weeks. Yay. Uh, but I'm not sure how much I'll get to hike. Oop, there's the sun flare, sorry about that. Now let's see, ski trail. Ski trail crossing at top of hill, no pets or foot traffic on ski trails. Hmm. You know, there aren't any skiers out today, so I think we'll be okay with the uh, foot traffic. We'll find out. What was I talking about? I don't remember. Oh yeah, snow and winter months. Being off work for two weeks. I, uh, I earlier today, I planned on making this the final video of the 500 mile walk. Um, <clears throat> not because I'm going to stop walking, but I'm tired of keeping track. This uh, series of videos is taking way longer than I expected. Uh, when I started, I wasn't working, and I thought I was going to be able to cover more mileage than I was actually able to. And uh, honestly, I'm getting tired of keeping track of how far I've gone, and blah, 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 blah. And, uh, you know, I just wanna go out and make hiking videos, go on a hike and not worry about how far I'm traveling. So how about this? In the comments, you guys let me know what I should do. Should I keep going on these hikes, walks, keeping track of how far I've gone, or should I just go hike and make a video? Let me know down below. I'm gonna spin the camera around. You guys can see this wonderfully leaf strewn trail. I love, I love leaves on the trail. I like the scrunchy to scrunch. It's too bad I wasn't able to get out here uh, when they had fallen sooner in the season and they'd have had more color to them. We're gonna go left here. Nice little sign for trail to show up in the snow. Anyhow, like I said, let me know in the comments below. Should I keep making the 500 mile walk videos or should I just go on ahead and make hiking videos as I am able to get out and hike? It's uh, That's part of why I'm thinking about just canceling the hike, the 500 mile walk, because there's, there are such big gaps 
in the time that I'm able to get out and walk, especially now that my hours at work have increased so much. Um, another thing that could come into play, I have another YouTube channel uh, <clears throat> where I do music videos, guitar instruction, uh, guitar demonstration, uh, songs, original songs that I uh, am working on. Uh, you can check that channel out. Uh, it's called Billy Goat Gruff. Billy Goat is one word. Uh, Billy Goat Gruff and the Rockabilly Red Devils. I am Billy Goat Gruff and I am the Rockabilly Red Devils. Uh, except for when I'm playing shows, then the crowd is the Rockabilly Red Devils. Anyhow, you can go check that channel out. Uh, I haven't done much with it. I uh, started it, uh, I think, two years ago. And I put up about 25 videos, I think. Maybe 30. I'm not sure how many are on there. But then I ended up smashing my finger at job I had at the time. Uh, and while it didn't really affect my playing, I just stopped using that particular finger. Uh, I did lose the nail, the black and blue, it was gross. And I didn't think that would make good uh, guitar videos. So I stopped making the videos for a while, got sidetracked doing other stuff, life, everything else. But uh, over the course of the next two weeks that I'm off work, I want to start working on those videos again. Uh, I love playing guitar. <clears throat> and I love showing people how I approach it, how I do the things I do. Uh, and I like learning how people do things the way they do. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, Billy Goat Gruff and the Rockabilly Red Devils, check below. I'll try and drop a link if I can remember. And we'll go from there. See what happens is I, I get sidetracked in my projects and I'll get an idea and I'll start pursuing it and then as it progresses and I see what the finished product is going to be I tend to kind of stop pursuing it and do other things that catch my uh, interests the Billy Goat Gruff stuff, the Rockabilly, I was just, I got uh, really into the Rockabilly music, the old 40s and 50s, and in the 60s, uh, as I mentioned. Pretty much anything with a little bit of twang to it, but I like all music, as long as it's good music. It can be rap, hip hop, electronic dance music, it could be Old school jazz, swing, country, bebop, classical music. I, I just like all music, so long as it's good. <clears throat> and I uh, want to get back on track with the guitar stuff. I haven't been playing much over the summer, actually. Uh, just here in the last couple days, I started playing again. I've been playing for... 43 years, I think. Uh, 15, 44 years. I don't know. I started when I was seven. Uh, so I've done a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of playing. I'm not doing live shows. I stopped doing those earlier this spring. Uh, I don't know if I'll go back to doing live shows again or not. The uh, music aspect of my life has caused me to miss out on a lot of other stuff in life. Hiking <clears throat> would be one of them. Uh, hiking, backpacking, and camping. That's all stuff I'd like to do. Uh, but being a performing musician uh, really required my time so I wasn't available to do that. 
backpacking and camping stuff very frequently. So I may be done with a live performance aspect of it. I don't know. I've been doing the live performances huh, 30 years. Well, sorry. <clears throat> 30 years, I think. Uh, actually, I was 11 the very first time I played a show. I had three older brothers. And it was some party somewhere. I played that with them. But anyhow, I do want to set some time aside to concentrate on getting those videos going. But I also want to get the hiking and uh, backpacking in as well. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe, maybe next week I'll start uh, refurbishing cars or something. Building houses, log cabins. I like all that stuff. Not so much cars. I, I don't like doing mechanic work. But I love to build stuff. I've always built stuff. That's kind of why I like working in trailer factories. Uh, you know, it's like being a nine-year-old kid. You're playing with, playing with saws and hammers and screw guns. You're climbing, you're crawling. You know, it's enjoyable stuff for me anyways. But, who knows? Maybe I will backpack out into a remote area and build a log cabin. Let's see what happens. Now we're more towards the center of the park and we're higher uh, and the uh, higher above the water level so now the ground isn't nearly as mucky it's just it's wet it's not entirely slippery but as you can see any dog that's been through here or whatever are leaving footprints some deer track I'm kind of surprised that I haven't seen any deer today I expected to I saw so many of them over the course of spring and summer. Fitting hikes into my day, especially this time of year, has been tricky. Again, it's been gorgeous all day. It uh, a little chilly this morning. Might have been uh, 20, 26 degrees, maybe. Uh, but I, I can't remember. Either way, you know, it warmed up and it's been sunny all day. Of course, now the sun's setting. Uh, let me spin here see if you can see it behind me there it's getting a little low it's about five o'clock and I'm probably only about a half a mile away from my car so I'll be wrapping this video up soon but what I was getting at was uh, especially this time of year getting out of the house uh, for an extended period of time is not really the easiest thing to do nor is it on the top of my list uh, you know being at home with the granddaughter and grandma and myself and you know we've been baking Christmas cookies and the dinners the holidays are fun for us sat around and watched a movie last night I'm not a big movie watcher myself but it, I make sure that to watch the Christmas stuff and uh, what other whatever other movies the granddaughter wants to watch really none of us watch uh, much television uh, I gave it up years ago back in my late teens I, uh, it's just not something I enjoy to do for extended periods of time but uh, so getting out of the house isn't all that easy even today had to get the dishes done and kitchen cleaned up because well there's gonna be more cookie baking going on tonight and in order and if we're gonna bake the cookies I'm gonna have to eat the cookies and of course if I eat the cookies I'm gonna have to nap and then after the nap I have to exercise go for a walk but then it's too late in the day to go for a walk I'm gonna spin this around we get a get a look at this windmill how cool is that? I always like getting this in the shots too. That was the wrong zoom in button. I 
And of course we have a covered bridge and a big rock. This used to be a working farm. I mention it in every video. Do a little bit of Google research and uh, you can learn more than I can tell you about these places. I know I'll, I'll I say it every time I'll put a link in the description, but I never do. <laughs> but do some Google research on St. Patrick's Park. Uh, the park is affiliated with Notre Dame uh, and St. Mary's founded by Sisters of the Holy Cross a couple hundred years ago I think it is I'm not sure I should have should have googled that myself before I came I usually do that quite a few people here today I was surprised but I guess I shouldn't have been 50 degrees on December 22nd. A lot of people are going to get out of the house. Look at a little grape house. What do you call it the grape house? There's a pump. Let's get a look at that. It's not attached. It doesn't work. I suppose it probably would, but they have it locked. This is a trellis. These are grapevines. Grapevines that go over the top. And uh, they grow in nice and thick. Looks like they've replaced some of the lumber this summer. I think I mentioned that in a video earlier this year. I probably won't drop a link to that down below. Again, I never do. I say I will, but I haven't yet. Not one time. <laughs> Let's see what this plaque says here. St. Patrick County Park. Heritage Gardens, dedicated June 17, 1984. St. Joseph County Park Board. How cool. Doesn't give you any data, but it's very cool nonetheless. And then, of course, Heritage Gardens across the top. Let's, let's come over here. We're going to backtrack a little bit. We'll read this sign. Adair Orchard. In recognition of the many civic contributions of Mr. Donald L. Adair, this early American apple orchard has been established, donated by Dean C. Adair family. How oh, cool. That's the apple orchard, by the way. We walked through it to get here. All right. We're going to spin this around. Put it back on me as I make my way back to the car. Came out here fishing a couple times over the summer with the granddaughter and her boyfriend. Oh yeah, that reminds me, Halloween. <laughs> I wanted to mention that. Halloween. Again, 26 degrees, 30 to 45 mile an hour winds, rain and snow. The granddaughter and her boyfriend and a friend from school. Another teenaged boy both boys are six footers they uh they went out trick-or-treating in that hideous weather and after 35 minutes they came back home because the boys were cold <laughs> the, the six foot Six foot teenage boys, big, tough, and rumble, were cold, so they came back home. The granddaughter, who is a trick or treating beast, went back out on her own and did not want company. Hey, we have a bunch of ducks back here. She did not want company. I volunteered to go with her, and she said, No, she'd be okay. Let's turn around. I'm gonna zoom in on these ducks. Quite a few of them out there. Hmm. All right. 
Let's zoom back out. Oh, see you guys later. There they go. How interesting. See you guys. Flying off into the sunset. See the sun setting over there? A little bit. So anyhow, she went back out trick-or-treating, well, on her own. I tracked her down again after about 30 minutes to see if she was ready to come home. And, uh, because the weather had really just, it was just horrendous, horrible weather. She said no, but she did allow me to finish hiking or trick-or-treating with her so I did I parked the car and uh, we finished out the night and she still managed to get <clears throat> five miles of trick-or-treating in every year that uh, it was tough there weren't a lot of kids out I will say that there was not a lot of trick-or-treaters she got a ton because people were just unloading their candy on her. They were not interested in uh, keeping all that candy for themselves. I don't know what's wrong with them because I kept all ours for ourselves, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, they were just unloading their bowls into her bag. It was uh, pretty interesting. She has quite a bit of resolve when she wants to trick-or-treat and that's her world that that is her uh, she's she's always pulled through on that no matter what the weather's like or the circumstances she gets it done all right we are almost at the car you can see it let me see if I can zoom in on it it's all the way over there. There's the barn. The red barn. Used to be a dairy barn. I'm telling you, Google St. Patrick's County Park. A lot of data out there. There's also a white barn. I actually played a couple shows here as a performing musician. They have a uh, an outdoor venue, stage, little amphitheater. Played a couple shows there over the years. Uh, Brother Kane was one of the bands. Uh, I don't even know if I can remember who the others were. It was good fun. Good fun stuff. Anyhow, we'll uh, get to wrapping this video up. The park closes at 5.30 tonight. It'll be dark long by then. It's 5.07 now park rangers making his rounds a few people scattered around here still well there you go i am close enough to the car to wrap this video up uh that was mile number 282 283 and 284 in my 500 mile walk i may or may not keep going you guys let me know whether you want me to keep tracking into this 500 mile walk or if you think I should just go on ahead and just hike when I can make a video when I can and uh, go ahead subscribe to the channel I tend to forget to suggest that subscribe to the channel ring the bell to get notifications as sporadically as I am posting videos that would probably be beneficial if you really want to see the videos thanks for watching you can like the video if you do indeed like the video you can share them on your favorite social media platforms i don't mind that at all more than anything though thanks for watching suburban hiker we'll see you in the next video